What is happening, you wonderful people? So I got a chance to go see Joker Folly Ado the other day. And this is like an advanced screening. But in this movie we follow, it actually doesn't release until Thursday. But I got to see it early. And in this movie we follow Joaquin Phoenix as Joker or Arthur Fleck. Right after the events of the first one, he's in jail. And he ends up meeting Lady Gaga. Harley Quinn, and we kind of have our story from there, so let's talk about it. So as someone who is not the biggest fan, I like it, but not the biggest fan of the first Joker, I only saw it once. I saw it once when it came out, 20, October 2019, so years ago. It's been a long time since I've seen it. But as someone who liked that film, and I wasn't, but at the same time, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, I wasn't particularly excited for this film. I, I was still planning on seeing it, obviously, but before they released the first teaser in April at CinemaCon, I was like, you know, whatever. I won't go watch it, but I'm not hype for this film, you know, but then they released a teaser and I was like, oh, okay, this might actually be good. Like I, I'm excited about this. I'm more excited than I was, you know, I didn't think I'd get this excited. Then they released a second trailer and I was like, okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting excited for this. So both trailers they released were really great. And then the reviews started coming in saying it's really bad and it's just, the story's a mess and it's just all over the place and the musical aspects don't work and it's just uh it's just all over the place so i went in hoping i'd like it like i hope i like every movie i walk into and i might be in the vast minority on this one but i actually really enjoyed this film i really did and you know joaquin phoenix was great as the joker in the first one and he was phenomenal in this one. His character, the way he plays Joker is so different. And his, the way his character is written is so complex. And it's just, it works for me. And just the way he struggles and the way he plays this like psychotic, witty, sometimes witty, but mainly psychotic villain that is so popular. And the way he's able to create that character in his own way, just works, and he was great, and Lady Gaga is Harley Quinn, I know everyone was like, oh, she's, she's gonna be horrible, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to see her as Harley Quinn, she's really good, I was not expecting her, I expected her to be good, but she was, do I want to say better than I expected, I don't know, but she was really great, I do feel like she was not fleshed out enough at all, and I feel like she was in, she's the main one of the main leads, you know, she's, I guess you could say secondary character because, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, Joker, Arthur, he's the main character, you know, he's the main character of the franchise, but I do, I do feel like she was not fleshed out enough, really, but at the same time, she was an interesting character, but also at the same time, I don't feel like we got enough time to learn about her and understand her motivations and what she wanted and at this, but also, we kind of understand where she's coming from and why she wanted to be with the Joker, all of that type of stuff. So overall, uh, Lady Gaga was great as Harley Quinn, in my opinion. I really, besides her not being fleshed out enough, I feel like she could have been fleshed out a bit, little bit more. She was great. And, you know, the first Joker, one of my biggest takeaways from that film and what I love mainly was the aesthetic, the the visuals of that film and the cinematography and how it was directed. And it's the same thing with this film. It's visually beautiful and it's just, it captures you and you're just sitting there like, wow, this is really pleasing. And the aesthetic is amazing. The camera angles and just the cool shots. You know what I mean? Like there are a lot of cool shots in this film. And while watching this film, I have to say, I feel like I was not bored. I was not bored. The movie is, with credits, two hours and 19 minutes. Without credits, probably two hours, 10 minutes. Something along the lines of that. 
And, you know, I, I say I was not bored at all through this film. I really wasn't. I do feel like it got bogged down a little bit at a few, few moments. And maybe I was a little bored during those moments. But overall, I wasn't bored. And the pacing, I think the pacing was great. Like, it just, it kept you attached and it kept you like engaged and that's what a movie's supposed to do and especially a movie that's that long it's supposed to keep you engaged and it did and i think that you know the musical elements worked for me they did they did work for me but at the same time some of the musical elements didn't and i feel like in the movie there's a musical moment that happens but then there's a musical moment that happens right after it. And I'm like, could we have waited 15, 20 minutes until the next musical scene or the, the next musical number? I feel like that's kind of, it was kind of rushed. You know what I mean? And I feel like it was kind of random. Some of the musical moments when they would just pick up right away, like out of the blue. And I'd be like, I don't know if that works for me. I, I don't know if that works for me. So some of the musical moments worked for me, but at the same time, some of them didn't. And I'm just like, could have done better on that. It was okay, but, you know, whatever. But I also think that, you know, it it's not as violent as the first one. Um, it's not as violent as the first one at all, actually. But it still is. And, you know... I, I don't want to say the dynamic between these two in this movie, Harley Quinn and Joker, it wasn't great, but it was fine. It was fine for what it was. Um, you know, and I, when I was watching it, I was like, this might be in my top 10. And then after the movie, I went on my letterbox to do my ranking of this year. It's not in my top 10. It's not, and it won't end up being in my top 10. But I do think that, and again, I am in the minority on this one. For, you know, some people are enjoying it. Some people are absolutely loving it, you know. Most people are. Most people are saying it's awful. I don't think it is. I I do think it is one of the best movies of the year. Film subjective. I personally think that. If y'all don't, that's okay. Film subjective. But I really, really enjoyed this film. And I, 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 I think I rated it higher than the first one. But at the same time, I like the first one significantly more, in a way, if that makes sense. I don't know. But, you know, I, I think this movie does a good job of, you know, having its underlying themes about guilt and love and uh, trauma. And, you know, it's a romance drama concophony of all that, you know. And I feel like it works for the most part. And I I want to say I'd watch it again. I feel like I would watch it again, but I don't know. Because there was a lot happening, you know? And there's just a lot thrown at you. And again, it's one of the best movies of the year, I think. But it won't be in my top ten. But, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed myself. And I think if you're, you know comic book fan, and if you are a Joker fan, which I am not a Joker fan, he's a cool villain, obviously, but Harley Quinn's a cool villain, too, but I'm just not the biggest fan of these characters, but I feel like, I, I feel like this movie didn't make me a bigger fan of those characters, but I feel like it, I don't know, elevated these characters upwards in my point of view, my opinion, if that makes sense, y'all get what I'm saying, like, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, overall, I really, really enjoyed this film, and that's coming from a DC fan. I'm more of a Marvel fan, but as a DC fan, I enjoyed it. So with that being said, tell me what y'all think down below. I know I always tell y'all what I think, but I always mainly like to hear from y'all first. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think down below. Did y'all like Joker if all you do? Maybe not. Are y'all planning on seeing it? Probably not. Let me know down below. Thank y'all for watching. Do not forget to subscribe down here. Like, comment, share on this video. We are at 422 subs. Next milestone is 500. And then 1K is the big milestone. Beyond that, I'm grateful for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. And if you're new to the channel, if you're new, you'll find movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reactions, 
movie news, live streams, all of that wonderful stuff under the movie umbrella. That is it for me for today. I'll talk to you later, my wonderful people. Cheers. Keep talking movies.